Hello everybody, we are here on American Marksman. As you guys may already know, I am sick currently, so my voice will sound a little bit different. However, I'm at the point where I think we can finally record a video, which is good because today was the release of American Marksman, which is a game we have been waiting for for quite a while that is exclusively on mobile, so you can get it on iOS as well as Android, and it just released today. Now let's go ahead and get through a couple things that I know for a fact a lot of you will be curious about. Uh, one of them being how much does the premium or I guess like a member mode cost? It is going to be $10, but it honestly seems like you really don't need it in order to enjoy the game. So we're not going to buy the membership yet. We're just going to play the game completely free and see what you guys can expect to experience. So the first thing that you guys will be greeted with whenever you start up the game is it'll tell you to grab your gun. It gives you a free gun and that is what we got right here. So let's go ahead and equip that. I believe it already is. Yeah, this is what we've got currently. And the developers have stated that you will be able to kill pretty much everything in the game with the starting rifle. So even if it does take a little bit longer, you will be able to kill everything, which is nice. So I think the first thing that we are going to do is go to the shop and purchase a new gun as you can actually get a decent gun early on. You get $5,000 when you start the game and I think what we're going to do is purchase either the 308 right here for 2000 or possibly the 243 even though 243 in real life is smaller than 30 out 6 and 308. In this game, it seems like it does more damage, so I guess it's one of the better rifles to get. Honestly, though, I think we're going to start out with the 308 because I do really love 308, and this one looks really cool. So let's go ahead and purchase that and also equip it. So we ended up getting 20 bullets, 20 pro bullets, that is. Let's see what else we can do. Can we buy more ammo? Yeah, so let's get more of that 308. I think we will definitely need more. How much do we want to buy, though? Let's go with 30 rounds. That should be plenty. And then I think we're going to save the rest of our money because I don't know if taxing is going to actually cost money in this game. So uh, we will save a little bit of cash. Let's jump into the hunt. So let's do free hunt. I don't want to do the guided hunts yet. We might at some point, but free hunt is going to be the way that we do it to uh, start out with. It also looks like there is going to be a hardcore mode, so that's pretty cool. We won't do that this time. We're just going to do the regular mode, but... I think we will do a hardcore at some point because that does sound pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and equip it. I think we forgot to equip our gun, so let's do that real quickly. That would probably be quite helpful. And there we go, equipped. And I don't know what else we can do. We can change out the mods on it, so that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and jump into the hunt. I also think I forgot to mention that I chose the Rocky Mountains as my starting location. So that is where we are right now. Uh, let's go ahead and bring out the 308. Uh, so pretty standard controls. It seems just you move on the left side of the screen and then you turn your character by pressing on the right side of the screen. Pretty standard controls here. Uh, let's see. Can we ADS with this? Yeah, so that's how you ADS. Not too bad, honestly. Now, how do we go back? I'm assuming that if we press it again, it will shoot. How do we get out of the scope? That is the question. I mean, switching guns seems to work, so I guess we'll just do that for now until I figure it out, but let's start moving along. Seems like there is something over here. So let's head over and see if we can bag whatever it is. Got that audio cue right in front of us. It's gotta be just over this hill right here. Uh, we should be able to sneak up on it. We are going to stay crouched and hopefully we can get really close and take it down. You know what else I just realized? This rifle is actually suppressed, which is pretty cool. We have been asking pretty much every hunting game you can imagine to add suppressors and none of them wanted to do it. But we finally have a game that has released with suppressors and of course it is a mobile game and not one of the main titles like Call of the Wild. But honestly, I gotta say, so far, I'm pretty impressed that this is a mobile game. Like, the uh, environments actually look really good for being on mobile. So far, the hunting feels pretty good, given we have not really seen a lot of different stuff. But still, it seems really good as of now. Oh, and there also is binoculars as well. There's a binocular icon that you can use to go into them. And I believe... There we go. Yeah, we can get out like that. Got some tracks here. 
Uh, those tracks look very large, but I'm going to assume those are mountain lion tracks, if I'm not mistaken. Which means we probably do have a mountain lion in front of us. And, oh, there's something right there. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's a white tail, I believe. Given the model looks kind of like a mule deer, but... Okay, so you definitely don't shoot like that. There we go. Okay, so you shoot using the little bullet icon on the left, and then you exit the scope with the icon on the right. That thing is definitely going to be going down. Yeah, it's definitely going to go down. There's no way that it lives through that. So there is what the blood sign looks like. That's honestly not too bad. That looks pretty decent. Again, I'm just impressed that this entire game is on mobile. Like, the fact that they've been able to design a hunting game like this exclusively on mobile is pretty impressive. Well, there's our deer right there. Um, let's see if this is a whitetail or a muley. Honestly, that might just be a mule deer. So, we can press this button in the middle to claim it. Yeah, that's a mule deer. So, not the uh, most, I'd guess, traditional looking mule deer. But I have seen mule deer bucks that have this type of a rack before in real life. So... I guess it's not completely unrealistic, but it is a very interesting one to get as our first one. Let's go ahead and collect and sell later. That's pretty cool, though. Definitely not a bad start. We got one, like, right down below us. I think we should be able to sneak up and take this guy down as well. Not sure what it is as of now, but whatever it is, we will shoot it. Well, we spooked it off, and it was a wolf, it looks like. I, I don't think we're going to be able to get it from this angle. We are going to have to try and get a better angle on it. But I think it's close enough to where we can still take it down. There's also a bear right there as well. That honestly should be a good hit. That looked like it would be a really good hit on it. Uh, no. It's not dead, but we can put one more into it, and that will be a kill shot. Beautiful. Then we also have this little wolf right here. Let's go ahead and crouch, and then we will try to get a shot on it. Not the greatest hit in the world, but... Oh, we also have a big horn right there. Two of them. And that's going to be another shot connected. Honestly, we have just found a gold mine right here. Yeah, this is literally a gold mine. There is just stuff everywhere. All right, let's bag this elk if we can. That looked like a good shot. There's no way that doesn't kill it. There is no way that that does not kill it. All right, so let's go ahead and claim this bear right here. I'm really curious how much money this is going to get us. So that is like $79 if we collect it and sell it later. That is a brown bear. Rareness is 58, I guess. I'm going to assume it goes clear up to 100. Honestly, they have a pretty good harvest screen here. It does tell you uh, the damaged organs. It shows you the weight, gender, antler size, if it's compatible, um, distance, total shots, uh, how you were positioned when you shot it. It's honestly pretty decent, very detailed for mobile once again. That's the thing that really impresses me the most about this game is the fact that it is an entirely mobile game. All right, so we actually did get a really good shot on that elk. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. Honestly, this might be our best kill of the day. That is a pretty awesome looking elk right there. That is really cool. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Go ahead and grab it. That one is once again a very low rareness rating and really good cash also. That is some really good money for that elk right there. Well, there's another bighorn next to the bighorn that we're about to go claim, so let's just drop that guy if we can. And he is still alive after the first hit, though I don't think he's going to go far. Oh, there's actually a better one as well. That guy looks way nicer. But we uh, got one of them at least. I'm not going to try and get the other one. All right, there's our very first bighorn sheep. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. So he is... 85 on the rareness. I think this is our highest score on rareness, so that's nice at least. Uh, nothing too crazy other than that. But it is 120 credits, so let's go ahead and bag that and sell it. I mean, if they're going to give us a shot, we might as well take it. 
Although, reloading would probably help uh, quite a bit. So, yeah, let's do that first, and now we can take the shot. And unfortunately, he dropped his head right as I took that shot. I don't know if he's going to die. We will have to watch him and see. Or we could take another shot. And that is going to do it. We absolutely drilled that guy. Let's go ahead and claim the first one, though. Let's see if this is going to be bigger than the other. It did look nicer from a distance, but... It's definitely not, though. This is actually a much smaller one than the first big horn that we killed. Honestly, we just shot a even nicer one, so I think we're just going to sell this. I only have one space left in my bag, so I can't exactly uh, place both of them. So we're going to go get this guy and put him in the bag. Um, yeah, I think that is a better one. I don't know. I think it looks better. I think that is a better looking big horn than the previous one. I guess I was wrong, actually. That was definitely not better. But let's go ahead and uh, sell it because it looks like our backpack was actually already full. So we should probably go back to the camp. I believe we just pressed the camp thing there. Okay, no camps on the map. Where do we go then? Do we press the little arrows? Nope, we definitely don't press the arrows. Oh, I guess probably the home thing in the bottom left. Yeah, that, that definitely would probably be the one. Let's go ahead and return to farm, I believe. Also, something I'm very happy to be able to report to you guys is it looks like you only get an ad after leaving a hunt, which is pretty good compared to a lot of mobile games. So honestly, I'm not too worried about that. That is actually not a bad placement for ads. And then obviously, if you were to become a member, I believe you can get rid of the ads. And I wonder if there's other ways too as well. There might be, there has been in some of their previous games, I believe. So there might be more options, but let's go ahead and figure out where we can sell these. So it's right here. You can actually choose to sell or tax them. Honestly, I think we're going to tax this guy. That is a good looking mule deer. And you can do a full body or a head mount and it's the same currency regardless. You know, let's do it just because this will be our very first uh, taxed animal here in the game. Go ahead and create that. I don't know if this guy is going to be a giant, but definitely still cool. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all to get rid of the rest and get a little bit of money back. And it says that we can place the animals anywhere. I don't exactly know how we do that. Where do we even find our taxed animals? Very... Interesting. I can't find anything. Um, oh, I guess this would be it right here. Maybe? Yeah, trophies. Okay. We can place this guy. Very interesting way to place it, but you know, whatever works, I guess. I think we're going to go with that right there. So that is our little mule deer. We can actually get up and look at it nicely now. I'm hoping we can see some more mule deer because this antler, this uh, antler model is definitely not the most traditional mule deer looking antlers. So I am curious to see what the others look like. Uh, we saw a really good looking one when we did a uh, video kind of talking about this game pre-release and they showed a really nice one in one of their videos. So I'm really hoping that we can find one like that. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick little release video to let you guys know that it's out as well as show you guys our first uh, moments in game. And honestly, First impressions are that this probably is the best mobile hunting game, but obviously it's not going to come anywhere near games like The Hunter Call of the Wild because those are full release titles on major consoles and PC. This really can't even compete with a game like that, but if you want a fun mobile hunting game, this is probably going to be your best option of all the hunting games out there on iOS and Android. So uh, take that how you may. If you're new to the channel and you find value in the content that I produce, be sure to subscribe to the channel as it does help quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!